Hello everyone, welcome to another video from EGIS Associates. We're going to continue our computer build series and unbox our, our processor and our motherboard and kind of look at what comes with, with all of these and talk about some of the benefits that they have. So we're going to start with our AMD uh, 7 2700X uh, processor and see what we've got in the box here. I'll get it opened up. So there we go. Open and so first thing we pull out in this little box that's in the bigger box is this is the actual processor chip. Uh, so this is the the processor that'll go on the motherboard. As I said, this is the 2700X uh, with eight cores and 16 threads. So this really should help us out when we're doing. Um, some of the, the 3D rendering that we uh, can do in ArcGIS Pro, as well as um, using many of the, the analysis tools, because it is, um, hyper, it is a hyper-threaded chip, and ArcGIS Pro supports hyper-threading. So hopefully we should see a big performance boost out of this, this chip when we uh, go, to, go to use it. So very excited to see how that works. Also got the little Ryzen 7 sticker up there that you can put on the case to let everybody know that's what you're, you're running. So why do we have such a, a big box if this is all the, the processor? Well, that's because in here also is our cooler. Um, all processors, be they Intel or Ryzen, you know, produce heat and we have to dissipate that in some way or counteract it because computers don't like heat. They run much better uh, the cooler they are. So um, AMD has included a pretty good cooler. I think this is the, the Prism cooler that comes with it. It's an air cool system as opposed to liquid cooled system. So yeah, there we go. So here is the, the cooler out of the box. And this um, goes on top of the processor, on top of the motherboard. Uh, and you can see the, the heat sink here with the, the fins and then the, the copper heat pipes. We have a copper plate that makes contact with the, the CPU for heat transfer. Uh, and I've read some, some good things uh, about this, uh, that it is much better than the, the coolers that have come with previous models of AMD and even the Intel chips. Um, so really excited to see its performance. Uh, for most folks coming out of the box, Unless you're really into overclocking, hardcore gaming, or high-end graphics editing, um, from what I understand, this this should be more than sufficient. You don't necessarily need a aftermarket or an additional or, or some other uh, cooler. We're going to give it a shot, see how it works for for us, um, and then see if we need to to upgrade. So you can see, that there we go, pretty good. Okay, so let's put this back. And we'll go on to our motherboard. Okay, doke. So now we're going to move over to our uh, motherboard. So this is. Uh, for those who have never built a, a computer before, this is really the, the foundation of the system. It's what all of your memory plugs into, your CPU, your video cards, network cards, um, hard drives, and, and so on will, will plug into this. And as I mentioned in the earlier video, uh, kind of introducing the project, we're using the ROG Strix X470F uh, gaming motherboard. Now we're doing this for, for several reasons. First off, I did a lot of research as I was planning um, to build the system and trying to figure out what components I, I wanted. And this motherboard received very high reviews from a lot of the, the, the community out there. So it, it was listed as the top, one of the top motherboards to run with the AMD uh, Ryzen processors. Uh, and it's, it's got a lot of features in it. So it, things that it in, includes, aside from support from this, uh, supports, I believe, up to um, 64 gigabytes uh, of memory, and that's DDR4, uh, up to th the, the 3200. It's also overclockable, so we can get in through the BIOS and overclock it. 
Uh, one of the other things I liked about it is it's got a NVMe uh, slot for uh, an SSD. Uh, and that's uh, just a, another drive that you can put in in that interface because it connects into the, the uh, PCI Express, at least I believe so. Um, and it is much faster than the traditional SATA SSDs that we've been using in the past. So that, that's cool. I intend to, to use that. Uh, it's got some RGB built into to it. Um, and it comes with a, a bunch of ports on the, the, the back of it. Uh, it also supports the processor, the AMD processors that have built-in video support. So built-in GPU, as it were, so that you don't have to get a separate graphics card if you don't want to. Now this, this Ryzen uh, 7 chip does not have uh, graphics capability, so we will need a separate graphics card, but this one does support it. So if that's something you want to use, you need to make sure your board also has it. And this has the, the HDMI port as well as the uh, display port if you have one of those type processors. So let's open up the box and, and see what we've got in here. Open this sucker up. I'm going to open it up. And we see right off the, the bat we have our motherboard. So I'm going to take this out. And we'll take this out of the bag in just a, a moment. I'm just going to sit it here and then we'll go with that. But let's see what other things we have in the box in here. So I'm going to open, I'll take out this bottom tray for a second, set that down there. So first we've got a manual. And in the manual is... Uh, A, some sort of coupon for custom cable mod, 20% off custom cables. So if you want fancy cables, color-coded cables uh, in there. We have our disc with our drivers and things on it. Um, we're not putting an optical drive in the system, so we won't be using that. And then we have our manual that shows us how to set up the motherboard and get it all configured and where we need to put stuff. So that's, that's a good thing to have. I'll definitely use that. We've got a door hanger. It says, uh, <laughs> game on, you're playing games, game off. Uh, again, this is a gaming motherboard. Our warranty update information. A palette of stickers that we can put all over a case. I will not be doing that. And then a Republic of Gamers thank you. So a little thank you card to say thank you for purchasing. That's kind of nice. And over here we have various cables. Uh, this is SATA cables. Um, this looks like RGB controller. So I think that's what it is, or RGB cable. Uh, what is this one here? I'm not sure exactly what this one is. I guess we'll find out when we go do the build, but I... Does it say on the outside? No, it doesn't say on the outside. So got, anyway, got various cables, uh, additional SATA cables. This is nice. It's got a 90 degree bend for connecting, so we can keep that in. Uh, we've got... Not sure what this little risers are things for stuff. We have twist tie, I'm sorry, zip ties for cable management. And then we have, I'm not sure exactly what this is. Oh, uh, an SLI bridge. So if you want to link two uh, video cards together, we'll not be doing that either. So, but you can do that with this too. Okay, it's our SLI bridge. Okay, so, so now we're gonna take a, a look at the motherboard itself. Go ahead and put all this stuff back in the, the box for us. Okay. Close the box back up. And the reason we're doing this is because we are going to use the box to support the motherboard. 
So anytime you're working with a motherboard or computer stuff, um, you want to make sure that you don't send some sort of electric shock, static electricity, you know, like when you get off the couch and you touch something metal or like the light switch or something, get that shock or you touch your wife and she hits you because you just shocked the living bejesus out of her. Well, we don't want to do that to computers. It can damage components. So we want to keep the motherboard on a non-conductive surface. So what we're going to do, um, it's also good to make sure you touch some metal, usually like the case over here, uh, discharge any electricity you have. They also have grounding straps that you can wear to avoid uh, an electrical discharge, protect your equipment. If you want to do it. Okay, so here is our motherboard in all of its glory. So we're going to start here. So this is your CPU socket. So that's where the processor we just unboxed will end up going. We have our slots here for our, our RAM. Uh, we have our primary power connector that will go to our power supply. Then up under here, I believe is where it is, is the uh, uh, slot for the N, uh, NVMe uh, SSD drive that we'll install there. This is a heat sink that helps dissipate the heat, so uh, that's a, a good thing. Then we have the various slots here uh, for our uh, video card uh, and other things, as well as uh, here, tie into, I think, our PCI Express there. We have uh, various heat sinks to help dissipate heat for other components on the, the motherboard. We have our wonderful battery that allows us to keep our uh, time and those things up on it. So back here on the uh, where this uh, our I.O. is, uh, we've got various sound connections. And this supports optical sound. It's got a built-in um, an Ethernet connection on there that's good. Uh, we have several um, uh, USB connections. We have the standard USB, uh, looks like three USB 3s and a type C USB on the back. Uh, as I mentioned before, that if you have that um, processor with video capability built into the processor, we've got the uh, HDMI and uh, digital display ports here. Uh, a couple of more USB 2s there, and it's even got an old-fashioned PS2 connector, which I haven't seen one of those in, in a while. Uh, featured, or full featured, there we go, motherboard. Uh, this actually will light up here when we get it all connected uh, in there. And then we have the SATA connections here, so multiple SATA uh, ports. It looks like six SATA ports uh, for traditional SATA drives. Um, so overall, pretty pretty strong motherboard. Um, just trying to see what some of these other things are. I said it's been a long time since I've built a computer, so I'm trying to familiarize myself with some of this. Uh, some more looks like fan controllers or fan plugs here, fan headers, whatnot. So yeah, pretty pretty exciting. Looking forward to building things on here. Um, one thing I will, will note, and we'll get into this, when we go to put in the RAM, this does have uh, dual channel. And so you don't want to put, if, you know, that's well, let me back up. One of the reasons I got two sticks of memory to get 16, I could have gotten a 16, a single 16 gig uh, chip, uh, or stick, I should say, but I got two eights because then I, I can do dual channel in here. Uh, so I can put them in two different slots, and it's kind of like if you think about like a road, right? So if you have your traditional two-lane road, there's a very limited amount of traffic. So that'd be like having a single stick of memory in here. If I get two sticks, though, it'd be like having a four-lane road, right? It has a whole lot more traffic. So I can put those in, and that's what we call dual channel. So anyway, we're really excited about building on this. I uh, hope you've in enjoyed this. Uh, so a lot of power, highly rated board. So uh, I said, we'll, we'll really see what it, it does for us. So very excited. So with that, uh, we'll conclude this video. I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, we'll get into some more details and maybe I'll link to a couple other reviews on, on these in the description. And of course, I said, if you do like what we're doing and you want to see more uh, unboxing videos, uh, build videos, hardware comparisons, software, whatever, 
Um, please uh, become a, a patron of our channel. The link for our Patreon page will be provided in the description below. And again, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.